Hello, my name is Mona Philip, and I am a guest curator here at the Art Gallery of Mississauga, presenting the exhibition in a Wendy Walk by Olivia Wetung. Olivia Wetung uses beadwork, printmaking, and digital media to address issues of indigenous land and food justice, knowledge transfer, language, and environmental stewardship. Her current project in a Wendy Walk which loosely translates as they are related to each other, emphasizes the ways in which coexistence within the ecosystem is mutually linked. Her series of mixed media sculpture installations, digital prints, and three-dimensional beadworks examine the vital connectivity within woodland, wetland, and garden environments, as well as their crucial role in ensuring ecological sustainability. Two pairs of bead-embroidered harvest bags gesture to cultivation seasons and the life cycle of plants from seed to nourishment. Referencing both Ojibwe bandolier bags, which were items of prestige that indicate status, as well as vegetable harvest bags used by undervalued agricultural workers, Olivia's beaded bags point to labor inequities and social injustice. The first set of harvest bags carries corn feed in one pouch and presents images of berries, cattails, roses, and wild rice below the words bread, land, dignity. The words are a quote from Franz Fanon's praise for the tenacious demands of the colonized for fundamental rights to their livelihood and survival as the most rewarding and effective model. The three key words, bread, land, dignity, reference Fanon's famous statement, for a colonized people, the most essential value, because the most concrete, is first and foremost the land. In a new series of eight prints entitled Unplanned Offerings, Olivia really looks at the creatures that populate her garden, whether she likes it or not. Sometimes she has to fight them off, sometimes she has to share the plenty, but either way she has to realize that they are essential to the ecosystem and equally entitled to the food produced by the land as she is. Further into the gallery, nestled into the two uh, little niches across from each other, are two beautiful beadworks um, that also continue notions of, of harvesting the land and of survival in relationship to the land. She made uh, one of each of these sugar bush shrapnels for each of her immediate family members in order to sadly commemorate the fact that they might actually be the last generation in her family who are continuing to produce maple syrup. Because of um, climate change and ecological destruction, maple production within their territory might soon um, become impossible as weather warms up and, and um, maple sap is not produced as, it, as in previous years. The small beadwork pieces spread out on the walls around the main gallery space are representations of reflection on the water and of the space where rocks meet the lake. Olivia took photographs of the surfaces of the lake in different lights of day, different times of day and weather, and then reproduced the images in beadwork, pixel by pixel. Beadwork is also the centerpiece of the installation Eulogy, a stream of silver to blue beadwork spills out from two wooden gates that reference the lock gates of the Rideau Canal. Within the stream of beads that of course references water, we have a beaver and waterfowls convening to read together the story of creation as told by Basil Johnston. Across from Eulogy, Olivia has set up another small installation called Wake. Here she places the skull of a beaver painted in silver and behind it 
there is the trail of water, an actual wake. The tidal wake plays on its double meaning, the wake of the beaver swimming, but also the wake held for the loss of habitat. Beavers are highly sensitive creatures who mourn their lost ones and the loss of their homes due to human intervention within wetlands and their usual habitats. The installation stand physically references a stand of trees, a forest. Five tall panels of wood veneer, which is a form of processed wood material manufactured and standardized by lumber industries for construction, hang from the ceiling and are anchored to the floor by flagging ribbons tied to river rocks. Each of the panels bears delicate imagery embroidered in thread and seed beads, illustrating the intricate network of life supported by the forest. Rabbit Feeds the Forest is a humorous yet poignant work comprising rabbit droppings rendered in Swarovski crystal pearls sitting on diaphanous islands of beaded snow. The human tendency to separate ourselves from nature and keep what we revile as undesirable species and their waste at bay away from our gardens and cottages deprives the land of much needed fertilizers. Olivia Whitung's exhibition in a Wendy Walk will be on at the Art Gallery of Mississauga until April 7, 2024. I invite you all to come in and see the exhibition as an opportunity to reconsider the spaces and species that are essential to our environment, as well as the network of connections and relations that we are all part of and that we should be contributing and supporting.